So some days are gonna go like this and you just gotta roll with the punches, like I always say. Always have your senses heightened on your homestead. Be listening, use all your senses. And when you hear water, that's usually not a good sign, unless you have a running stream. I heard it from my tanks and yes, I did not design these properly or design the plumbing. So this fitting somehow just cracked. Usually that's covered with soil to protect it in the winter time. There are two isolation valves in here for the tanks. One for that one, one for that one. And then there's a combiner valve right here, which goes to my pump and pressure tank. But when I was designing it, I didn't think. And if one of these fittings cracked, that would let the water out of both tanks. I was more than likely at the time trying to save money. And that's sometimes not a good thing because I cannot shut off one tank versus the other. All of the water from both tanks, 5,000 gallons is about to drain out and there's nothing I can do about it. And there's nothing I can do about it as far as I know. So I just tried to tighten the fitting, but it's cracked in the threads. And I think that may have happened because this tank was set not on a bed of gravel, not on a super stable soil. It's very sandy here. This one's got some gravel under it, but this one does not. And I think the weight of the tank and the movement of the soils from, you know, the rain or the dryness that we've had moved the tank enough to where it sagged and cracked that fitting. Okay, another lesson learned out on the homestead, and I'm going to lose 5,000 gallons. Hopefully it'll fill up quickly again, but got to move that tank. Got to undo the fittings at the top and get it taken care of. All right, have a beautiful, blessed day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.